Hey everyone, it's Karina. Uh, so this is a this is a bonus episode, we'll call it. I had Michael Madsen on, very funny Portland comic. You should follow him on everything, everything everywhere. Follow him in person. Also, stalk him. Uh, anyway, we we were doing an episode on Cleopatra. I did not prepare enough. It's the perils of running a podcast, and we just wound up reading military strategies. And you know what? The following is what I could, all the usable stuff I could, and again, entirely my fault. But we had a lot of fun, so I thought I would post just a, call it a highlight reel, a blooper reel, whatever you want to call it. But here it is. Enjoy. I'm also very, very single, painfully single, so I know nothing about relationships. Uh-huh. Don't mm-hmm that. <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> Uh, you're a raging misogynist. Just so you, that's what I'm trying to say. Oh, cool, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Stability. How how comfortable are you having Cleopatra? Is she gonna run? Are you constantly dealing with like uh, she's overdosing in the kitchen? You know, you gotta these kinds of things. <laughs> the g- I like that the first concern is is she gonna run? <laughs> is she gonna run? <laughs> is she, a dynasty. The Ptolemy. Ptolemy. Tol- PT. I think you nailed it. I think I nailed it. <laughs> the- There's sage in the walls. Plutarch provides an entirely different and perhaps mythical account that alleges she was bound inside a bed sack to be smuggled into the palace to meet Caesar. So she either came of her own or was bound and, and gagged in a sack and dragged in to see Caesar. So I want to believe it's the first one, but... I don't think mythical is the adjective I'd use. <laughs> a mythical story of how this woman was bound in a sack and dragged to see Caesar. Tale as old as time. What a love story. <laughs> Honestly, that's what every little girl dreams of. Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. Anytime Mark Antony fucks up, just be like, yo, what's uh, what's Octavian up to right now? <laughs> but a, they're pretty intense. They killed themselves. They're pretty, you know, type A. So it makes sense <laughs> for their personality. This just in type A people, <laughs> way more likely. Including use of the Thalamagos, the pleasure barge constructed by... This is Jabba the Hutt right here. <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't want to refilm the intro, so... Yeah, there was there was way too much. Whoever wrote that Wikipedia article did not have this podcast in mind. <laughs> Strong, independent woman. She surpassed the fame of any Egyptian pharaoh. She's always been depicted <laughs> in different light in so many media... However, Cleopatra remains as a mother, not only to her own people as as well. <laughs> really quick, can you just tell me uh, the website that you're on? <laughs> Scholaradvisor.com. <laughs> <laughs> she had the power to be every man's aspiration. Cleopatra is the embodiment of love and ambition, all at the same I time. This, I don't think this article passes the Bechdel test. <laughs> She was smoking hottie, tits out to here, lips that could suck a dick. <laughs> Let's talk about the guy she fought. <laughs> Karina Lucas, at least a 6 out of 10 on the feminist scale. Do you think Jabba yeah. thinks that he's hot? Or he's like, ah, oh, they fucking love it. <laughs> Jabba's like, I, think, I don't think they're into me for the money. I think it's, I think it's real. Really quick, on the article, did it say it was either... Either a concubine or his sister? Yeah, it was one or the other. Ooh. Yeah. That's, uh... You know, that's not hot. I didn't totally. learn much in college, but I learned, like, one generation of not fucking your cousin, and everything's good. Yeah, look, we've all seen Game of Thrones. We- she had to be married to Ptolemy the 13th, her brother. She married her brother. Okay. See, the Wikipedia article didn't mention this. Julius Caesar, however, is not threatened by the same fate, for he carried a much greater army force. I can't even with this article. <laughs> the fucking grammar. It's so, it's so poorly written that so, I don't. I have a feeling. I have a feeling that they might not be scholars. <laughs> the relationship could have been for love among any other. <laughs> 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 However, <laughs> there are also political agenda <laughs> behind the. <laughs> I think I 
I might have written this article in fourth grade. Okay, so Cleopatra's a, a girl. We're, we're, we can do this. We we're can do. Through? We. I don't know. <laughs> Should we power through? This is a fucking mess. I can probably get a solid like ten or fifteen minutes out of the Cleopatra stuff we did. You know. Easy. Yeah. And then we just need to add another 20 talking about something and we're good. Okay. Uh, famous person. Or let's just do a made up. We can do a f f person from fiction also. Isn't this a history book? Yeah. Who cares? <laughs> it has to be either Stalin, uh, Cleopatra, maybe Mickey Mouse. <laughs> like it can be anyone. <laughs> Um, oh, was there a figure from history we both know? I'm sure. Yeah, we both know like well. Uh. Let's talk yeah, about George, George W. Bush. Uh, George W. Bush. Uh. George W. Bush Fox. Because I don't have anything to talk about with George. There's only so much we can talk about with someone we don't know. No, and it's, it's, we were very pro-Bush. <laughs> we came out the gate so pro-Bush. We were so pro-Bush. It's not good. Oh, my God. Yeah, we should rate Cleopatra first. Based on what we know, oh. let's just give her a rating real quick. Uh, I think hotness, 8 out of 10. For me, what do you think? I'm gonna go. It was eight with just the incest. I'm gonna say since it was her much, much younger brother. Oh yeah. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna go down to to seven. We'll call it seven. All right, seven for hotness. Okay. Historically hot, but also you constantly think about how she fucked her younger brother. Uh, mm -hmm. Stability. She's she got married three times. She killed herself with her husband. She's a very stable wife. She's a very stable wife. Some would say unstable, but I get where you're coming from. No, because she didn't spend any time unmarried, really, it looked like. She went from marriage to marriage, and the first one was her brother. Right, that's unstable, No, because listen to me. The first one was her brother. <laughs> Obviously, that's not going to last. Uh, the power struggle. The second one was Caesar. He died. And the third one was Mark Antony. They died together. So there's only one, one failed marriage, and it's her little brother. So is that a uh, bad thing? All right, you give a stability rating, and then I'll give mine separately. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to give her uh, an 8 in stability. Okay, I'm going to go for a 4. So we'll call it a 6. Yeah. We're calling it a 6 total, so that's 13. How many bonus points do we want to give her, and why? Born in 69. Born in 69. That's bonus points right there. That's a big one. Okay. Um, um, famously hot. Um, Famously hot. Yeah. Uh, on coins. On coins. She just went from one Roman dude to another. <laughs> she just mm -hmm. went down the line of... We talked about... We're going to have to use all that old footage, or else none of this is going to make sense. <laughs> it's almost funnier. Oh, my God. Everyone listening, still listening, thank you. I'm sorry for this. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is an absolute mess. This is what happens when you start a new podcast and you don't know what you're doing. Um, okay. Please, anyone who's listening, blame it on the fact that I'm the guest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we, let's give her seven bonus points, right? Or sixty, because cool. sixty-nine. Or we'll give her, we'll give her mm. six, six point nine, because it's sixty-nine. Yeah, 69. six point nine bonus points. Okay, so that's nineteen point nine for Cleopatra. That's pretty solid. Damn. Yeah. That's that's higher than Stalin. That's definitely higher than Stalin. But <laughs> George Bush, hotness. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go nine. You're gonna go nine? I'll give him a yeah. nine. I'll give him a nine. Okay. Uh, stability. Wait, what did you give Stalin for hotness? Nine. Okay, he's an eight then. He's an eight. He's less yeah. hot than Stalin. Yeah. Okay. George Bush is an eight in hotness, and uh, stability. What are we talking about? Six. Yeah, he had, the, he had his reckless phase in college, and he wasn't married then. Then he got it all out of his system. You know what I mean? He's just... Yeah, and he's, like, he's just a pleasant old man. He doesn't have ambition, really. He's like a puppet president. You know what I mean? He wasn't in charge. Mm -hmm. He didn't really do anything. I feel like he's a good, dutiful husband. I believe that. Yeah. You okay. know what? In terms of relationships, I'm you're, you've convinced me. I'll, I'll bump it up to, uh, to an eight. Okay. We'll give him... So we're going double eights. And right. bonus points, I think in honor of him... 
being a terrible human being, we should not give him that many bonus points. Because I feel like no, I'm I'm gonna give him I'm gonna give him one bonus point, but just for the uh, fool me once quote. <laughs> Yeah. That's I'm gonna give the him... funniest thing a president has said. <laughs> I'm going to give him one for having a shoe thrown at him, too. That's pretty funny. Oh, that's so, a good one, yeah. Yeah. So he's going to get two bonus points, just so everyone... You were right, we were really pro-Bush in the intro. <laughs> so we have... so pro-Bush. We have the time for that with the two bonus points. Can we be clear that, like, we know? <laughs> we know, obviously. 